Hey guys, then we are back out in the shop again today. I got the old uh, 327 that I had in the S10. Got it pulled down and we'll pull the intake and valve covers off and the cam out of it. It had a uh, comp hydraulic roller in it. So uh, putting it in that 65, it had a little more cam in it than I want as a daily driver type deal. So I think what I'm going to do is put the, the hydraulic roller I got, the comp one that come out of 327, put it in the 383 here. And uh, it's been sitting there waiting on a cam and figure out what I was going to do about a set of heads. So we finally bit the bullet and ordered a set of those uh, Pro Max. 200 or HR 200 I think is what they are but anyway they're, hot, they're set up for a hydraulic roller uh, 20216 uh, 64 cc straight plug they're supposed to be you know they're they're a copy of a Brodix head is what they are um, from what I understand they're, they're Chinese just like everything else is but they're assembled in, uh, I think it's Alabama, somewhere in the States anyway. And uh, they use all American made parts, valves, springs, retainers, and locks. And it comes just like it is, you know, studs, guide plates, which you gotta have some adjusting done on them. They're not, they're not right. But it's set up with uh, for 600 lift on a hydraulic roller. Uh, 202, 160, 100,000 longer valves, five angle valve job, you know, 516, set up for 516 push rods, and it's got the 145 dual spring at 600 lift, 145 pounds on the seat, 325 open. Um, so, you know, it takes a 7900, should take a 7900 push rod to make it right but we'll figure out measure all that before we do anything serious but anyway we got them went ahead and got a new set of head bolt ARP head bolts for them and uh, I think what we're going to do now is get right and uh, or not today I'm not I got other things to do but we'll get this uh, get the cam put in and lifters I mean there's all the roller lifters and everything that come out of the 327 there's the cam we'll get all that put in and uh, check piston to valve clearance I mean I shouldn't have no problem if my calculations were right um, the piston down in the deck to about seven thousandths so we're, we should be plenty good plenty should be about uh, if my math is right and it could I may be wrong but it should be right around 10, 10 and a half to one compression. And we'll see. It is what it is. I mean, it ain't like a good daily driver. And the old 65 here, I ordered a bunch of wire brushes for the uh, die grinders and drills and stuff to get in here and wire brush all this mess. I got some of it done. Just ain't, you know, you ain't got nothing good to do it with. It's kind of a pain to do it. And if I'd have realized I was going to do all this, I would have took the whole front end out from under it. Cross member and everything, dropped the whole mess out and blasted it, you know. But I done put the new new ball joints and stuff in now. So I hate to go pressing on all that, take them in and out. But I mean, it's not bad. It's just going to be time consuming, that's all. It's just going to take time. So, anyway, we got plenty of projects to do. But that's where we're at on the 65. It's just uh, been piddling and been doing a whole lot. Like I say the head finally come so we can get back on the 383. I would like to get it put together and get it finished. Even if I don't have a home for it right now. Um, I'm looking at a little regular cab square body S10 early 80s, mid 80s, I forget now exactly what year it is, mid 80s I would think, uh, short bed, like I say, short bed regular cab, 
that I think I'm going to put a 9 inch under it and leaf spring it in Caltrack bars and probably put this in there with a little bit of spray and we'll drive it on the street, drive it on the drag strip just play with it I think it'll be more fun than the other little truck would anyway guys that's what we got oh oh I did pick up my buddy found me this from a fella he worked with it's a turbo 350 manual valve body trans brake ultra bell and it's got the deep pan on it but uh, it's a good transmission the guy just went to a power glide so I got that all that a couple of new flex plates and a shifter there ain't much on that but um, 500 bucks so we didn't see where we could go wrong we had to get it so it's supposed to be built it was on a drag on a race car before so I figured if somebody put an ultra bell on it they must have must have done something right or was planning on it anyway is what it is uh, uh, we'll do something it's, it's hot today I ain't really in the mood to do a whole lot more so, all right, guys, we're going to get out of here, and we'll see y'all later. Have a good one.